the Louis Vuitton monogram has become one of culture's most recognizable prints. Spotted on the biggest skaters, rappers, athletes, gamers, and adorning the basics like umbrellas, boxing gloves, and bicycles. Cardi B even printed the LV monogram on her hair. The list is diverse and virtually endless. The monogram has been used to mark some of the most coveted victories. Take the Lakers 2020 NBA Championship trophy case and the trunk crafted for the League of Legends 2019 Summoner's Cup. Virgil Abloh and Nico set the internet ablaze with a 2020 LV collaboration that remixed the pattern into denim suits and bags, following a long line of high-profile remixers like Helmut Lang, Vivian Westwood, Takashi Murakami, Frank Geary, Carl Lagerfeld, and Ray Kawakubo. In the course of over a century, the LV monogram has transformed from a symbol of luxury travel to a culture-dominating phenomenon. This is how it took over the world. Behind the Hype LV Monogram In 2018, when Virgil Abloh succeeded Kim Jones as artistic director of Louis Vuitton Men's, he inherited the world's most valuable luxury brand. Recent data from Forbes estimates a current brand value of 47.2 billion US dollars. The Takashi Murakami and Louis Vuitton collaboration, which lasted between 2003 and 2015, was one of the brand's most lucrative and successful collaborations of all time, and blazed a trail for future art world collaborators like Jeff Koons, Damien Hirst, Yayo Kusama, Richard Prince, and Kansai Yamamoto. The LV monogram has also been a long-held staple in the hip-hop world, owing much to the customized tracksuit Dapper Dan crafted in the early 80s which featured the pattern, one of which was recently listed for auction by Sotheby's. Kanye West continued to propel the craze into the 21st century, nicknaming himself Louis Vuitton Don and sporting customized Louis Vuitton luggage. And recently, the monogram has crossed over to the home goods and lifestyle game with offerings that run the gamut. A 10,000 US dollar kite, a made to order bicycle collaboration with Maison Tamboy, Horizon wireless headphones, billiards and foosball tables selling up to 135,000 US dollars, as well as playing cards, dice, jump ropes, and dumbbells. Louis Vuitton introduced the monogram on a series of traveling trunks in 1896, 42 years after the brand's foundage. George Vuitton, son of Louis Vuitton, created the monogram, bringing in influences from late Victorian-era Japanese designs and incorporating the quatrefoils, flowers, and LV emblem in tribute to his father. The brand and the popularity of its monogram pattern started to rise under George Vuitton's direction and eventually caught the eye of fellow designer Gabrielle, or Coco Chanel. In 1925, Louis Vuitton created her one-of-a-kind monogrammed handbag. It took several years for a line of similar handbags to reach the public. In 1959, the company revised the monogram canvas to make it more workable and better adapt to small accessories like purses and wallets. By the time LV joined forces with Moet Chandon and Hennessy to form LVMH in 1987, the brand had solidified its space at the global forefront of luxury. The 1997 appointment of Marc Jacobs as LV's first creative director proved pivotal. During his time, Jacobs introduced the brand's first ready-to-wear line and its first monogram collaboration with artist Steve Spruce in 2001. The 2003 startup Takashi Murakami's 13-year collaboration with the brand also occurred under his tenure. It opened the door to a younger audience, while simultaneously renewing excitement for existing customers. The monogram remained dominant over the next decade, but received another bolster in 2011, when Kim Jones became LV's artistic director of menswear and imbued the design with a streetwear sensibility. 2017 brought a supreme and Louis Vuitton collaboration and the monogram's momentum erupted to new heights, spanning skate culture and high fashion and bringing almost a century of monogram mania to a new generation. That same year, Hiroshi Fujiwara's fragment design joined with Louis Vuitton for another hype collection of streetwear meets heritage pieces, which included sneakers, bags, and various garments. The monogram's new relevance across streetwear proved not only popular, but highly profitable. LVMH reported an 18% profit increase year over year. The monogram hype may have never happened without its various collaborations, revivals, and reinterpretations. For generations, Louis Vuitton has built its name on its quality, but it's the omnipresent monogram that continues to remain the X Factor. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Behind the Hype LV Monogram